Hello, everybody. It's Oliver G here from the Earful Tower. And M this week stands for mid-season break. Uh, Look, this season is huge. It's a big undertaking, and I want to make sure I go through the second half of it with the same tenacity and curiosity and enthusiasm that came from the first half of the season. And, uh, well, this is just me calibrating a little bit and also having a chance to look over what we've done and a look forward to what's coming up. Apologies also to you guys looking forward to a long ride this morning into work or whatever. This is going to be a bit of a shorter episode. Let's start off, if you're new around here or you haven't been listening properly, the AB season is me going through A to Z and picking a topic that correlates with the letter and then either interviewing someone based on it or doing a deep dive into the topic. And it's cool for me because I've never done it like this before. Usually, I pick a person to interview. And I say usually, remember, I've been doing this for six or seven years now, so it's a whole different way of thinking. And it's been really fun to be able to plan way ahead for once. And uh, it's been really fun trying to chase down people based on the topic. And uh, I don't know, I hope everyone out there in listener land feels like they've been learning a lot because I certainly have as your humble host. Let's have a little look through. I'm going to quickly go through what we've done in the A to L so far and then pick out a few things that I want to tell you. A, uh, for Arago, the markers that run through the middle of the city. B, for Biev River, the the river that once ran through the city and then disappeared. C, for Chateau. D, we went to Deauville. E, how could I not do Eiffel Tower and some fun facts about it. F, for the floods, which uh, A, B, and F, I'll come back to actually, uh, the Paris floods there. G, for Guimard, Hector Guimard, the architect. H, for another architectural story of Haussmann, Baron Haussmann, who redid Paris. I for the Ile Saint-Louis, J for Jewish Paris, K for Kylie the Crocodile, the, the story that I recently told, and L for Lyon. And like I said, it's been really fun for me seeing how a few of them have sort of uh, come together. So like you're talking about Biev, the Arago markers and the floodlines, they're all sort of treasure hunts around Paris. And as I've been looking for each of them, uh, you find ones that match the other. Or even I could throw in Gima and his architecture or Hausman. So when I start doing the, or even, even the Jewish Paris episode, when I'm looking around Jewish Paris and I find uh, the Hector Gima synagogue on Rue Pavé, And it's been really fun to match all these things together and get a real deeper understanding of Paris as I go along. Um, Also, I think it's a good chance to give a shout out to the tours that we've been doing because I've been experimenting this season with, and there's another reason behind this that you'll figure out. A lot of you already know, I think, but uh, uh, it'll come to light soon. A reason why I've been focusing on tours lately And uh, I've been personally leading a lot. I do them on Monday mornings. I get groups of maybe six to eight people. And uh, a lot of solo travelers have been joining. And it's a good chance for me to meet some listeners and for some, some, you know, Francophiles to meet each other all in a two-hour walk of the Marais. And uh, I just want to give a shout out to that because I know I rarely talk about it on the podcast. So I intend to do that for a while more Monday mornings. Otherwise, we have a bunch of other great guides who can take you around Paris any day of the week. But uh, if you're coming to this city and you want to see some of these things that I've been talking about on the show, get in touch the best way via social media or email, which is oliver at theearfultower.com. I'll give a shout out to Patreon at the end of this as well. Uh, But let's look forward now. Uh, M to Z or Z. I've got almost everything planned out, 100% set in stone. But what's also been quite fun in the first half is there's one or two that I changed kind of at the last minute and they turned into some of my favorite episodes. And what that got me thinking is this whole season could be redone with backup, backup, backup letters. I mean, I could probably redo the alphabet season 10 times based on how deep I want to go into Paris. I mean, just the letter M 
there are 50 things that are really obvious that you could do and then there are probably 50 things that are a little bit unusual so this uh it's really been a fun way to see paris this season so i hope you've been enjoying it as much as i have in terms of the last half of the alphabet i'm happy to say happy on a on a personal note i guess that i'll be leaving paris again i did twice in the first half i think i will at least once maybe twice in the second half some of it is already recorded and some of it involves uh, topics that I know a lot of you are excited about. Just today I was recording for N and uh, gosh, I've got some great uh, footage to go with the interview and I've got my fingers crossed that a mayoral promise, promise from one of the mayors, will come through but you never know, you never know these days. Uh, All the way through to the end of the alphabet which will come around Christmas time. That's not a hint at all. But uh, I've also really enjoyed seeing how much people are into guessing what the next letter is. So keep them coming. I'll keep putting clues up. I'll keep asking people on social media, especially in the Facebook members group, where uh, I must admit a lot of the members have <laughs> have better ideas than I've been having. Uh, but yeah, watch this space. The letter M will be coming almost certainly next week, but maybe the week after, depending on uh, a few things I've got cooking. Uh, The other thing I want to do is give a really solid and sincere shout out to the Patreon members. Patreon.com slash The Earful Tower. I've listened to a lot of other podcasts recently and there are so many ads on some of them. Like they start with 15 minutes of ads and uh, in the history of the show, I've never done that. I've never really forced ads down anyone's throat and also I very rarely talk a lot about Patreon or Patreon, however you want to pronounce it, but it is via that that this keeps running. That pays the salaries, uh, that pays for anything that needs to be paid for, including travel, for example, um, and getting the episodes made. So uh, we're a growing team and it's really important. Patreon.com slash The Earful Tower. And if you're really on a budget, I don't mind at all if you... uh, I mean, if you're on a real, real budget, then don't worry about it. But if you can only afford a month for $10, that's awesome. Sign up for a month and then jump out again. That's okay with me. Uh, The fact that there's so many listeners, if everybody did that, it would make such a huge difference. So I'm really happy with that. Uh, Don't feel that you need to commit forever. Although to you guys who have rusted yourself on, I'm eternally grateful. Um, I want to give a shout out to the Facebook members group. In the early years, I used to talk about that an awful lot until there were, I don't know, a lot more people sort of said, uh, I'm off Facebook. I'm never going to become a member. I hate Facebook. And I sort of, well, I certainly stopped doing the live videos there and I put them on YouTube links. But um, the Facebook group has continued to grow. And I don't know if it's because of this current season or not. But uh, the conversations in there have been excellent. Just this week, there's been at least one or two conversations started every day, whether it's like people sharing recommendations for hotels or photographers or um, there was one post the other day that was, what's your last day in Paris ritual, where people started sharing at the end of their holidays what they like to do. Things like that, um, sharing pictures of cool courtyards to sneak in. That's all just from this week that I've been scrolling through. So um, it's really turned into a little community that sort of feeds itself, you know, like everybody gets talking in that. So if you are on Facebook and you're looking for a fun community of Francophiles, get uh, get in there via Patreon, patreon.com slash the Earful Tower. And I'll finish on a few more words of thanks. Press Maxon has been doing all the music tirelessly, uh, playing all the instruments, creating songs that match the episodes that I'm planning uh, match the vibe of it even. Like, uh, it's been excellent. So, Press Maxon, you can check him out. He has a sub stack. I'll, I'll link it all below. He has websites, social media. Otherwise, P R E S M A X S O N, Press Maxon. Another big shout out to Augusta Sagnelli, who I said at the start of the season should be doing pictures for every episode, but some of them have been a bit wild and impossible to take photos of. Uh, but she's been doing a lot of the social media pictures you've been seeing and stuff on the website. Uh, Augusta Sagnelli. I tag her on Instagram all the time, but you can find her there. Um, Get in touch if you want to do a Paris photo shoot. I know Graham was asking about that in the members group the other day. Uh, I'm sure we can hook you up with a good price if you're an earful listener. 
Uh, also, Eddie G, my little brother, he's been editing quietly this podcast for a long time and continues to do an excellent job of it. Uh, and to Charlotte and Hannah, who have been doing a lot of the tour guiding over this past season and even before that. Uh, and Lena, my lovely wife, who jumps in to co-host sometimes and is always there to, uh, you know, back and forth with ideas or come on these long walks with me or listen to me while I'm raving about some Hector Gima building or whatever. Uh, so to all those people, uh, huge thank you because without them, it certainly wouldn't be what it is today and it isn't lost on me. The fact that there are a lot of followers, a lot of listeners, it's been growing a lot and it isn't lost on me that that wouldn't have been possible without a great team. So with all that in mind, I'll be back again real soon with the episode for M. But uh, I just wanted to pull back the curtain and show you a little bit of what's been going on this season and what's to come. My name is Oliver G. This is the Earful Tower podcast. And this has been the first half of the AB season. I look forward to sharing the second half with you too. Merci beaucoup and au revoir.